If your mid-back is constantly tight and sore on one side or both, then massage doesn't seem to help for long. Here's why and how you can fix it once and for all. The sliding joints of the spine are happy when we're in a straight, neutral position. But if you spend time out of this neutral position, these joints can become stuck and irritated, sometimes even inflamed. The longer you spend in these positions, the more likely the sliding joints will get stuck. The muscles in the area tighten up to protect the joints, so you can end up with sore, tight muscles too. In the mid-back, this is most likely to happen when we spend time in a rounded, slumped position, or a side-bent position. There's several common ways that we tend to end up in these positions. If the joints in this area of the spine get stuck, massage doesn't help for long because the underlying issue is joint restriction and the muscle tightness is only a secondary effect. To fix this problem, you need to do two things. You need to avoid those positions, and I'm going to show you several ways to do that, and release those stuck joints. To release those lower mid-back joints, you can use rotation exercises to localise movement to that area, like the Bretzel stretch, or extension type exercises like towel roll extensions or a puppy pose mobilization. I have a video on how to do all of these, so I'll leave a link to it below. Avoiding these bad positions for your mid-back is the key though. If you don't change your positional habits, mobilizing the mid-back is a waste of time because it'll keep coming back. So let's start looking at the first set of bad positions, spending time in a rounded position. Instead of sitting slouched like this, Move your pelvis right back in the chair so that your back can't slump backwards into that rounded position. This applies to sofas too. Now if your sofa is too soft or it doesn't give you enough back support, even if you move your pelvis right back, just use a pillow to ensure that your mid-back doesn't round out. Avoid lifting your legs onto footrests as this encourages posterior pelvic tilt and a rounded back. And it's for this reason that sitting in bed is terrible for your mid-back too. Unless your hamstrings are super flexible, sitting in bed will round your mid-back. You can try sitting cross-legged in bed, but for many people this is hard to maintain. Sitting on a stool with no backrest is a recipe for disaster, but there are some seats without backrests that work nicely. On a kneeling chair or a gym ball, where your knees are lower than your pelvis, your pelvis tilts forward rather than back, avoiding that rounded mid-back position. Lying in bed in a fetal position causes a rounded mid-back too, so try to straighten up if you sleep on your side like that. Hugging a pillow can help to keep you straight. Spending time bent to one side is the other way that your mid-back joints can get stuck. So avoid leaning on a hand or elbow to one side while you're sitting on the couch and don't lie on your side with your head propped up on your hand. Now if your bed is really soft, this will allow your mid-back to sag to one side too. In fact, a hard bed is just as bad because our shoulders and hips are often wider than our waist, so on a hard bed our waist can sag towards the bed. So make sure that your bed is firm enough to support you but also has a soft overlay or topper covering it to give your shoulders and hips something to sink into. 